All right, so a bunch of people are about to same, make the same mistake again that they've made over and over and over. <clears throat> so at, at this bottom, I, I did multiple videos. I warned people there was going to be a rally. It was going to go further than most people expected. Um, price was just stretched too far below the 200-day moving average. Of course, right in here, this is where people uh, panicked. Uh, they were selling when they should have been buying. They should have been listening to me. Uh, I even uh, predicted this exact scenario that that we were going to get uh, a couple of false starts here. I, I I drew this out exactly before this happened, and then um, you know my my prediction was that that we would probably come back up to get close to or test the 200-day moving average. That's exactly what we did, <clears throat> and then and then the, you know then it happened again. Uh, I warned people that. Um, that this was not a new bull market and um, you know I, I said that everybody would get bullish it's exactly what happened they didn't listen to me uh, and then we get the the move down into the daily cycle low so you know same thing happens again uh, everybody gets on the wrong side of the boat and they should be going the other direction and then uh, they miss the move and then the last video you know I, I did my um, <clears throat> my victory lap on on this trade this is the one that uh, made us <clears throat> the, enough money on that uh, one trade to, to pay for the, the year subscription just like I um, promised would happen um, and now there people are going to do it again in uh, gold so <clears throat> uh, we are uh, you know my prediction was that they, they would try to take down the metals uh, obviously the the metals you know everybody at this point knows that they're one of the more heavily manipulated markets um, and uh, you know I knew that they were going to try and stop this this rally in gold this intermediate rally um, my expectation was that they would probably be able to uh, knock the miners down that that's where they focus most of the um, suppression nowadays because uh, there is no uh, penalty for shorting miners so they can just short those willy-nilly and then they um, hope that the gold and silver follow so I was uh, pretty sure that um, they were gonna knock the miners down to new lows possibly silver I did not think they were going to be able to accomplish that in gold it, it looks like those predictions are going to be exactly right as well I think we have probably got our daily cycle low here and they were not able to drive gold down to a new low uh, but everybody is despondent again and they you know they're not listening to me they're doing the exact opposite of what they should do so here's the the chart of miners and we've got that that same pattern is in play price is stretched too far below the 200 day moving average just like it was in the stock market and people are, are doing the same thing now that they uh, did in the stock market they won't they wouldn't listen to me they were letting emotions uh, control their um, investing and they were selling when they should have been buying same thing is happening here you know I warned people that this was going to happen when I when I saw the suppression in the miners when gold was was rallying strongly but the miners were were being suppressed that that was the the clue that that they were going to um, take the miners down and try and break them to to new lows during the next daily cycle low. So that that played out exactly as I predicted it would. And then uh, this the same thing happened in silver here. Um, they they were able to drive silver to a new low, but you can see it's been a false breakdown. Silver, especially today. So what is happening is is they're running out of fingers to. Um, plug up the the dam so today silver starting to get um, they're starting to lose control of, of the silver market um, again stretch too far below the 200 day moving average they're gonna lose control of, of the miners here as well they've they've artificially suppressed price too far and um, the the natural um, price direction is, is going to go up miners don't belong at this level not with gold at, at seventeen hundred dollars and eventually the fundamentals are going to are going to break the manipulation 
and looks like they're trying to break it today in silver. So, like I said, they're just running out of fingers. There, there's too many holes springing up in the dam, and, and they're not going to be able to plug all of them. So let me widen this chart. All right, so you can see on this chart, this is a very good illustration. Um, if you know, if you widen the chart, you can these uh, things become up more apparent. Um, the the six month chart, it's not um, it's not as glaringly obvious of, of what's wrong. But you can see here, price price is just way too far below this 200 day moving average. So there is massive potential here to uh, for a regression event back back to the mean back to this 200 day moving average you, you can just see how this this always works uh, price always comes back to the to the average eventually sometimes it gets stretched way too far to the upside that usually means it has to go a little bit to the downside but it it always comes back to the the average and right now uh, the mining stocks have been suppressed and manipulated and they are they are artificially way way too cheap and the you know the same people that keep making these same mistakes over and over and over now they're going to make it in the in the metals uh, they've become very frustrated very despondent uh, all they can see is uh, further declines into the foreseeable future uh, and i'm going to be right on this one just like i was right on the stock market uh, just like I've been right in energy, and um, this is now a, a great opportunity. Um, now, be aware that uh, that the cartel is going to make this very difficult. Uh, this is not going to be a straight shot back up up to here. They're they're going to fight this the whole way. The Fed is trying to to fight inflation, so you know they they were successful in keeping the miners suppressed and driving them to. Uh, make a lower low and they were, were also successful in silver I don't think they uh, are going to be successful in gold but but um, you know I think we probably got our bottom on Thursday but but if not we're close enough uh, just like we were close enough on our short in the stock market we didn't get the exact top but it didn't matter uh, we were close enough to, to make uh, good money uh, same thing here we're close enough um, and the, you know, the the people that will listen to me on these things, um, it's time to be a contrarian. Uh, the people that will listen and can learn to be a contrarian, you'll continue to make money. Uh, and the people that keep letting their emotions control their investing decisions, you'll you'll keep missing these bottoms and tops uh, over and over. So now it's time to be uh, now is the time to be a contrarian in the metals.